The closing of the civic space in Ethiopia has taken uh, different forms over the years, but it's been characterized by uh, some similarities. Um, in 1991, when the new government came to power, in 2005, when uh, there were the most contested election in the history of the country, there was always a feeling uh, that an opportunity actually existed for the variety of voices uh, to participate in the political debate. And systematically, uh, all the spaces that appeared to have been open were shut down through different means, by imprisoning um, activists, by more recently uh, censoring online communication uh, by uh, shutting down uh, the internet uh, altogether. And also the change that occurred in 2018 uh, has unfortunately been uh, uh, reduced uh, uh, through the use of, uh, of similar means uh, and uh, similar tactics. Digital rights are important because they could guarantee the opportunity of uh, the many generations of activists that have tried to shape Ethiopia over, over the years. Uh, to have some fundamental freedom and, uh, and to know that the attempts for them to transform, shape their societies and the future of the country uh, will not be frustrated uh, by uh, changing political strategies uh, and dynamics. And it's important to recognize them as rights. It's something that can't be taken away. It should be strengthened over time. The African Digital Right Network represents a unique combination of uh, efforts coming from research, coming from activism, coming from engagement of a broad variety of actors uh, that have been trying over time to produce uh, uh, lasting change in their own countries. Uh, it could offer a unique opportunity to uh, distinctively and comparatively uh, grasp uh, what are the dynamics that in each country have led to change and what are the dynamics that have prevented change from occurring, uh, and build the solid foundations uh, for a new generation of scholars uh, and activists uh, to intervene uh, in uh, the political spheres in their own countries.